Hello everyone, this is Kathy from The Daily Marker. How are you today? Today I'm doing a video to celebrate Mama Elephant's new release. And I'm coloring these little Yetis. They're so much fun. And I'll show you how I colored this poinsettia too. Uh, this is the poinsettia I'm using. Um, this is an older stamp, but it's a tried and true one. And I love these Yetis. I always love to try and throw a flower in there. So I want to show you, I stamp the flower and then I'm going to draw a stem. The stem does not have to look good because you're going to cut it out. As you can see, I'm not doing a great job. And I could have used a thicker Sharpie, but this is all I had at the time. So I'm just making those lines a little bit thicker. And then I'll be cutting these out. Um, I don't have the die cuts for this, so I decided just to cut everything out. Or I could mask the stuff. So here's the Yetis. Um, and my the tip of my marker, I need to refill this, so I'm forgetting that gray, grabbing another one, and literally, I'm just, I don't think too much about what color, I'm just grabbing it. Any color will work. This happens to be N3. So since I know that I'm cutting this out and I'm going to be using some of my tried and true Copic blending solution, I'm just literally scribble coloring, throwing some color on there. And my the beige I picked is uh, running out. So I, that one's a little bit too green. So now I'm just going to grab another one. And let's see what I end up with, um, E50. So I just want to mix a gray, a beige, and a brown. And when you put the Copic blending solution on there, even though I'm kind of mashing the colors right here, it comes through kind of magically. And I demonstrated this at the Mama Elephant anniversary party. And once I put that solution down on the Yeti with the rag, everyone's like, oh. it's just kind of that aha moment, like when you see embossing for the first time. So I'm just... I put some brown, now I'm adding some gray on top of that, scribble coloring again. I literally have two hours to make this card, finish another one, and do a video because we're leaving at 11 o'clock, I got a shower, and we have a spectacular wedding to go to. So I sound a little rushed. I actually would have added more to this, but whatever, I, I just wanted to do a video for you guys. Now, I was traveling with my solution, so I took that protective seal off. And you saw I wet the rag, I put it down on the Yeti, and I'm heat setting it between applications. I'm deciding if I want more. I'm going to wait and see, step away from that one, and color up this other one. Um, sometimes I like to cross off that arm. I know that that is not going to be... It's going to be covered up, so why bother coloring it? And so then I'll just proceed the same way. I'm going to try and put a little bit, either more or less brown on this one. I want one to be male, one to be female. So we'll see how that goes. And just scribble coloring again. I'm going to speed this up because I have to get rocking, and I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm, uh, I have a... I'm damp I dampened my rag and now I'm going around the Yeti again just like I did the first time heat setting that again and I like to turn it over I don't want to burn my paper even though he could look cute a little bit toasty and then I'm going to do it a little bit more so you can play around with this and if you heat set it then it doesn't bleed and go out of the lines now I always talk about adding a little bit more to the nooks and crannies and that's what I'm doing on her she's going to be the she and if i had more time i would dot the different colored markers on each one of them kind of near those nooks and cranny areas um i kind of thought it'd be kind of cool to put some chest hair on him but i decided not to do that um so i want to keep that sweet spot in the middle so i'm just kind of mashing his ear around i'm going to go back with my rag here you really can have fun and it's a foolproof proof method. All right, so I'm just gonna add just a tiny bit of color to their faces and some rosy cheeks with RV10 
and I'm just softening those edges on the faces and then I'll be done with the faces. Super simple. And then I'll color their little horns off camera and I'll be done. I mean, this came together very quickly. Um, now I've cut him out and always when I cut something out, I like to use a memento. I grabbed a Copic marker and you have to be do it quick, quick, quick because it bleeds into your coloring. Um, memento marker is best and I'll link that in the supplies. But I like to cover up all those white edges. It gives you a much more finished look. Um, I'm just darkening those eyes and then I'm going to pick up my super fine 0.3 Copic marker and draw some little lashes for her and later I'm going to draw some little eyebrows for him. Super simple and fun. Okay, so I'm going to set those babies aside and I'm just going to put some color, a first layer of color on this poinsettia here. And again, I don't have a lot of time, um, I, but I just want to distinguish what's green and what, what will be red. And I'm just feathering some color on there. I'll be doing some color mashing on the leaves. And, and then I'll bring in a third peach color. So I'm going to speed this up. I hope you guys don't mind. When I finish with the red, I'm going to just use the zero. I don't always do this, but I just want to soften that line between the two. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I am and it works and it's something to consider doing. Now I'm picking up that third color and I just, I'm going over the entire image and I'm trying to keep that sweet spot on the end of those petals. So I'm just going around my flower doing that. Um, very simple and basic. So then I'm just pushing a little bit of that color out of those edges and I'm just using two greens on that stem and now I'm going to start coloring the leaves. I'm using two or three greens. I, a lot of times I like to use like uh, a beige when I color a leaf to highlight a certain area in the leaves and again I don't wear, worry where the shadow is coming from. This one, I'm using a lighter one. Now I decide I'm using that khaki color. I'm picking up some of that dark, bright green to put onto my leaves because it's too extreme to color smash. And I'm loading it on my tip and then I go back and reload that. And that way I can use those colors that are way off the spectrum from each other. And then you gotta wipe your tip off to make sure you don't get a little surprise next time you open it. And now I'm using that the same green that I had on that slippery piece of paper to add a little color to the nooks and crannies and now I'm blending that out and then I'll color this center with just some browns I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that I'll add some white highlights later now I'm just using some dots with that yellow <coughs> sorry um, just some dots on those leaves and then I'm coloring the center there. Dots not only add interest to your projects but it's also a great way if you're not happy with the blending it can mask what you've colored. So say if you uh, if you've feathered some color on there and there's a harsh line between the two different colors if you prance different colors around that line, it'll blend everything and make it look beautiful, I promise. So give that a try. And I'm just adding a darker color to the centers of those. And that they look cool in yellow as well. So I wanted to show you, I've, I have my memento, I found it. And when I'm fussy cutting, I kind of cut a chunk out and then I use my memento marker and then I finish cutting out. That way my hands aren't all the way on the cutout image. It gives me more to grip while I'm doing this. And again, this gives your projects a much more complete look. So this is a quicker video, but I just wanted to finish that. And when I cut the Yetis, oh, see, right, in, right where my marker was there a second, I just cut through the stem and around that. And I'm trying to color 
his paw there on those white edges. And then I'm going to tape this on the back and assemble my card and I'm finished. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry this was a quick video, but I just wanted to show you how I assembled and created part of this card. So have a great day and I love seeing what y'all are coloring. Okay, bye.